Hi there, oh, welcome back to my views and news. Three news stories for you. Firstly, Somalia. Somalia in trouble, it seems. Uh, Al Shabaab has carried out uh, some attacks today. One uh, attack on a facility which was hit for the first time by Al Shabaab in the capital city of Somalia. Secondly, where is Gaidu and Gachu, top Amhara politician, PM Abi's uh, supporter? He was in 2018, but uh, recently we saw that the man was sidelined after he took uh, some positions in support of uh, uh, armed groups in the Amhara region. And the man fled Ethiopia a few days ago. Where is he now? What is he doing there? Is he on some special mission? Whose mission is he accomplishing? Prosperity Party's mission or Fano Fighters' mission? Thirdly, Somali land. Uh, uh, Somali landers held a protest, a rally in the UK yesterday. Pictures, videos are being shared. Somali land wants a recognition. Uh, why was the rally held in the UK, not in other countries? Just one rally and that in uh, the UK. Firstly, we are uh, Al-Shabaab, a major player in Somalia, has been target of several military operations. When Farmajo was in power, he announced to crush Al-Shabaab, nothing happened. Then he was accused of being soft on Al-Shabaab. When Hassan Sheikh came to power, he announced his single point agenda that Al-Shabaab would be crushed. And he announced the start of a broader, more comprehensive military operation against Al-Shabaab fighters, regional forces, federal forces, neighboring countries, uh, U.S. were involved. Air strikes were conducted. Uh, Somalia acquired TB2 drones from Turkey. U.S. conducted direct drone strikes. Uh, Kenya conducting drone strikes too in Somalia. Ethiopian troops in Somalia. Other African countries troops in Somalia. So it was said by Hassan Sheikh government that within months Al Shabaab would be destroyed. But it seems that the group still has the capability to hit wherever it wants to. The capital is not safe. The most secure or uh, which should be the most secure facility was hit by Al-Shabaab today in Mogadishu, Somalia's capital. NISA is a Somalia's intelligence agency. National Intelligence and Security uh, Agency, NISA, led by Mahad Salat, the intelligence agency chief. And today, mortars landed on NISA headquarters in Mogadishu. It's a big news. So this is the first time uh, that NISA's headquarters has been Questions are being asked. If Ethiopian intelligence agency cannot protect its headquarters, how can it protect the people of Somali, people of Mogadishu? So Al-Shabaab, it means, could not be driven away from Mogadishu. They have carried out dozens of attacks in Mogadishu. I would say hundreds perhaps in the start of their uh, activities, their operations. But uh, this is the first time that they managed to attack NISA headquarters. And by the way, uh, government does not admit, but Al Shabaab is extorting money in the capital, Mogadishu. Traders are paying uh, money, reportedly, have been paying money, not, not, it's not the news to Al-Shabaab fighters. And sometimes when huge fires uh, uh, break out in Mogadishu at markets, people point fingers towards Al-Shabaab. They say that when traders refuse to pay bribe, pay money to Al-Shabaab fighters, uh, Al-Shabaab fighters set fire to major markets. 
and today uh, a major market uh, called bakara caught fire in mogadishu exact cause behind this fire is unknown but people pointing fingers toward al shabab so uh, somalia's government not just hasan shikar government uh, farmajo as well somalia's governments could not weaken al shabab and somalia state media is not allowed to report freely independently about al shabab even social media is restricted in some cases uh, people don't know what is happening in in somalia but uh, and those who try to share the true picture about uh, al shabab's capabilities they are declared traitors al shabab supporters some journalists uh, who have close ties with al shabab and they have been visiting al shabab territories they reported from al shabab territories reporting was obviously uh, from the ground they are accused of being pro al shabab so somalia's state media uh, is not independent in terms of reporting about al shabab but uh, attack on nisa headquarter is very alarming Somalia is ready to wage war on Ethiopia to stop Ethiopia from setting foot on Somaliland. On the other hand, its capital is in danger. Uh, if all had there been no regional forces, no Ethiopian military, no Kenyan forces in Somalia, Somalia would have uh, uh, met with a serious challenge from Al Shabaab. Let's see what happens. Who will replace? Afghan Union troops in 2025 that are meant to be seen. So far, Somalia's forces are not in a position to protect Somalia. Uh, regional forces or forces of other countries will have to protect Somalia until Somalia builds uh, its navy, air force, and uh, uh, army. Uh, it it seems. Second war is a gay do under gay shoot. top amhara politician where is he a few days ago sara broke this news about gado's departure from ethiopia he fled ethiopia the man was uh, a staunch supporter of ethiopian pmr abi when pmr abi took office in 2018 he uh, was a top amhara politician later uh, when pmr abi turned towards fano to crush fano the man criticized government uh, he and johannes bialio were both sidelined from the prosperity party and then he went into hiding or you can say he went quiet uh, and when state of emergency was imposed in the amhara region last year gedun gachu delivered a speech at the parliament rejecting government's move criticizing this move and after that he was harassed by security forces he decided to flee the country he fled ethiopia and when he fled ethiopia the airport officials who did not stop him were arrested by uh, ethiopian police getun gachu went to belgium but he has been seen in virginia the us this week so it it seems that from belgium he went to the us right now he is in the us and some say he is holding some meeting there with us diplomats us government officials on which agenda is he working is he reliable trustable uh, dependable for amhara groups like fano etc or is he working on some government agenda well people see him with suspicion people say that the man has been launched by government government wants to government wants gaidu to lead fano groups and gaidu is basically pm abi's horse so they see him with suspicion at the same time they say that if gaidu is working uh, to uh, talk to us uh, diplomats to put pressure upon ethiopia uh, to remove pmrb and to support fano he should be welcome but basically uh, i think uh, whenever someone tries to be a leader in amhara region groups in the amhara region uh rebel consensus is not developed there are so many different views that uh, 
all groups are not agreeing on one name. Skandar was launched, but even uh, Skandar is still controversial. Not all Fano groups uh, accept Skandar as their main leader. And uh, the prosperity party leader, Gaidu, obviously won't be acceptable for Fano groups. Then who will lead Amhara region, Bharat? If somehow Fano groups uh, manage to reach Addis Ababa, who will lead Amhara region? Is there any one name who could be acceptable for all Fano groups, for all Amhara groups? Uh, which want to remove the Prime Minister of Ethiopia. Let's see what Gaidu does in the US. Uh, will he be busy with some lobbying work or will he just seek asylum there? I think his activity should be monitored there. What will he work? What will he do there? Who will he work for there in the US? That may be seen. Thirdly, was Somali landers are protesting for recognition, rallying for recognition. Uh, a rally was taken out in the UK yesterday uh, where hundreds attended this rally. It is first major rally by Somali landers calling for recognition. The self-proclaimed uh, country, uh, which is internationally recognized as part of Somalia, has been struggling for recognition for three decades. Ethiopia gave... Uh, Hope to Somali land uh, when at the start of this year it signed an MOU with Somali land. Uh, recognition of Somali land is part of this MOU, but Ethiopia seems to be dragging its feet about the clause regarding uh, recognition of Somali land as a country. Uh, UK uh, is uh, uh, UK Parliament, UK uh, MPs have been discussing the recognition of Somali land. It is being discussed. Some UK MPs support this recognition. That is why the rally was taken out in the UK. Uh, and it is being rumored that UK could make this big move, though no official announcement from the British government so far. It seems the Somali land is trying to organize its diaspora to do the lobbying, to intensifying lobbying efforts for recognition in the UK. With the clip from the rally in the UK uh, taken out by Somali landers uh, calling for recognition. Thank you for watching. <laughs>